Hey what's up everyone, in today's video I'm going to tell you all about the Airsoft Artistry VSR10 hop-up chamber. Now if you haven't heard of Airsoft Artistry, you should definitely check him out on Instagram. That's how I found him. He was nice enough to send me a couple of these chambers so I can install them and test them out. Now some of you may be thinking, in terms of a VSR10 hop-up chamber, another one, because there are so many hop-up chambers out for the VSR10. Is he? Don't knock the camera over. Come over here. So I will be comparing this new chamber to some of the chambers that I've used, including the Airsoft Philosopher and the well-known Action Army with a Tridos TDC. There have been so many hop-up chambers out for the VSR-10. Off the top of my head, you have the stock, obviously, hop-up chamber in the Marui VSR and JG Bar-10. There was a Lalax one, Angel Custom, Action Army. Action Army made another one. Maple Leaf has at least two generations, the Airsoft Philosopher. PDI also makes one, plus all of the different hop-up arms and nubs that you can put in just the Action Army hop-up chamber alone. This is an Action Army hop-up chamber with an O-ring mod, which I will be going over later in this video. But the Airsoft Artistry hop-up chamber, I'm pretty sure is gonna set the bar for the VSR-10. This Airsoft Artistry hop-up chamber has some very nice features, one of them being the CNC bolt-down TDC, which is probably gonna be my favorite thing about this. The way that the barrel and bucking is installed into the chamber, the way it's clamped in place, down to... Izzy? Hey, come here. Come over here. Just move over just a little bit. There, sit there. Hi. Big thanks to Airsoft Artistry for sending me a couple of these hop-up chambers to try out. Let's get into the install portion so you guys can see what kind of features this new chamber has to offer. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is remove the TDC hop adjuster base and a few other components. Take out the two screws that hold the base to the chamber and remove the entire base along with the adjuster wheel. There will be two small springs that are used to tension the hop up nub. Remove them and make sure you don't lose them. These are the parts that you can set aside for now. The hop up nub should be threaded onto the wheel which we will get into later. Next up, grab your outer barrel. In this video, I'm using a PDI bull barrel base. Slide the chamber in like normal. A cool feature of this chamber is a built-in template for the bolt-down TDC. Rotate the chamber 90 degrees in the outer barrel, but not this way. It has to rotate this way to be properly used as the template. Next, you want to grab one of the included screws and install it to hold your chamber in place. You may have a little front-to-back movement before tightening the screw. I made sure the rear template screw hole was as close to the end of the barrel window without being covered at all. Make sure you don't have this hole blocked or it will interfere with the drilling in the next step. But once you have your chamber in place, tighten down your screw and we can move on. Now we are going to drill the holes in the outer barrel for the TDC base. You want a drill bit that fits snug down through the chamber template holes. In this video, I'm using a 1 inch drill bit and a drill press. A handheld drill will get the job done, just take your time and be careful. Anyway, place your drill bit down through each template hole and drill all three holes in the outer barrel. Once you drill all three, remove the chamber and make sure to clean it out really well by blowing out excess shavings. And I highly recommend reaming out all three of the TDC base holes. Don't go crazy, but just step them up a little bit. This will make the install a little smoother and give you a few fine adjustments. Blow out the excess shavings and this step is complete. Now it is time to begin the main assembly of the Airsoft Artistry hop-up chamber. Pay attention because I tried to include as many details and tech tips as I could. Please add any VSR10 assembly tips of your own down in the comment section. But anyway, start by removing these two grub screws. There is one on each side of the chamber and they press against a clamping mechanism that holds the inner barrel in place. Set that piece aside, we will come back to it shortly. Now you want to prepare your inner barrel and bucking of choice. In this video, I went with a Maple Leaf 2021 80 degree Autobot bucking. These are usually my go-to. I like to use the included C-clip and I also want to make sure it would fit into the Airsoft Artistry hop-up chamber. So install your VSR bucking onto your inner barrel. I'm using an edgy stainless 601 G-spec barrel. VSR or GBBR cut buckings and barrels have alignment tabs and grooves, but still make sure everything seems to seat properly to the naked eye. I then decided to do a test fit first to see how everything fit into the artistry chamber. My barrel and bucking fit snug without any lube and were able to be removed without a lot of force. I always like to Teflon seal my buckings. Let's see if it will work in this chamber. It may or may not give you an FPS boost, but it's a good peace of mind. 
If you choose to use Teflon tape, try not to overlap the bucking to the point where you are covering any of the contact patch area. Wrap the Teflon over the edge of the bucking tightly and then over a short section of the inner barrel. Ideally it should look like this and then you can install your barrel into your artistry chamber. Before we move on, I want to talk about barrel and bucking alignment as it is very important. With just about any one piece VSR10 hop up chamber, your inner barrel and bucking will fit snug but you can still have some play if that makes sense. When you install your barrel into your chamber, it's good practice to look into the entrance of the hop up chamber and make sure the barrel and bucking are centered. You want everything to be as straight and true as possible. If things are off center, you can do one of two things. You can gently twist your inner barrel within the hop up chamber before the inner barrel is tightened down. You would do this in hope that you can shift things into perfect alignment. But the best thing to do is to pull the inner barrel back out, recheck bucking placement, and reinstall. I will show you why removing and reinstalling is the better option. If you have a clear bucking like I do, you can check and see if the contact patch is centered in the hop up chamber window. This is how it should look, but it is possible for an imperfect installation with any hop-up unit. In this first example, I tried to twist my inner barrel to straighten everything out within the chamber. But if you look closely, you can see that while the hop-up bucking appears to be near-centered with the chamber, the barrel window is off-centered from the bucking's contact patch. In this next example, I tried to twist everything some more. But now, while the barrel window and bucking mound may be aligned with one another, they are rotated off-center within the hop-up chamber. Both this example and the last could potentially cause your BBs to curve. After removing the inner barrel, assuring the bucking was installed properly, and reinstalling everything into the artistry chamber, I was able to get the alignment pretty spot on. I hope someone was able to learn something from these alignment illustrations. This is how I assemble every VSR10 that I build. Let's get back to business. Make sure everything is aligned, then install your barrel into your artistry chamber. Everything fit perfectly with the Teflon tape, by the way. Then slide your barrel clamping mechanism over the inner barrel like this. Slide it into place where it will be a flush, snug fit. During this process, try to be very steady and hold everything in place. You don't want to bump or shift anything and ruin your perfect alignment. Install your grub screws into the sides of the hop-up chamber. I always gently tighten them and go back and forth to put even tension on each side of the inner barrel. With any set screw setup, it's possible to shift things by cranking down on one of the set screws first so I recommend going back and forth before giving each screw a good snug. Let me point out that I think this inner barrel clamping design is way better than the Action Army and others. The Action Army chamber does use a barrel sleeve, but two of the set screws go through the sleeve and press against the inner barrel. I've seen people ruin softer brass inner barrels by making an indent when tightening the screws, or they get all scratched up. Not to mention the Action Army grub screws are smaller and extremely easy to strip out. Anyway, Evenly tighten your beefy artistry grub screws and then give them each a good snug. Your inner barrel won't be going anywhere and should hold true to its position. If you're still with me, we can now install the precision machined artistry hop-up nub. Start by threading it off of the long set screw. Set any other parts aside and grab those two small springs from the beginning. Insert the springs into their designated holes within the nub assembly. The entire nub unit is a machine fit into the top of the chamber. I place the chamber over top of the nub to avoid dropping the springs. The Airsoft Artistry nub design is similar to the Airsoft Philosopher chamber. Airsoft Philosopher went with a machine fit nub as well, but there were no springs to hold tension. Some say that's fine because you have the tension of the bucking, but I prefer the use of springs. But once you have your nub in place, we can install our artistry chamber into the outer barrel. Now would be the time to install your barrel spacers. Mine are already installed into my outer barrel. Get your spacer situated and then carefully slide your Airsoft Artistry hop-up unit into position. If we drilled everything correctly, you should have three threaded holes line up with the holes drilled in your outer barrel. Next up, grab your hop-up wheel with the long set screw. You'll need the tiny allen key that should be included with your chamber. Remove the set screw from the adjuster wheel and thread it all the way into the center hole through your outer barrel. You are actually threading it into the hop-up nub. Tighten the grub screw with the allen key. Be gentle, you don't need much force at all. I use less than a drop of blue Loctite for peace of mind. Now grab your adjuster wheel and spin it all the way down the set screw. Gently snug it. It doesn't have to be tight, just snug it down very gently so it's against the outer barrel. Now for my favorite part, the TDC bolt down base. This piece literally makes this chamber. Don't get me wrong, a Tridos TDC works perfectly fine. Even my old school JB Weld scope turret TDC does. But this Airsoft Artistry setup bolts down. No glue, no tape. 
The adjuster knob is beefy, yet the unit still has a low profile. The artistry base also has two detents so you can fully adjust the firmness of your clicky TDC. Each of the detents have set screws that you can use to adjust tension. You could also remove one of the detents or both, whatever you want. I left mine alone, but the option to adjust is there. Anyway, you can install the base over the wheel with it facing either direction. Place it over the adjuster knob, maybe give it a little wiggle and snap it down into place. Install your two base screws, but do not tighten them all the way. I'm going to show you yet another feature of a bolt down TDC base. Grab your VSR mag block and install the screws for that. Depending on your mag block, you may need longer screws than what the chamber came with. Thread in your mag block screws, but also don't tighten them all the way. With any other VSR 10 hop up chamber, when you tighten down your mag block, you are actually pulling the chamber and inner barrel down. It can shift things and cause unwanted tension. You can fix it cheaply by putting layers of scotch tape on the chamber, or by hitting up my friend Silicone Sword for an o-ring modification as seen here. But with the Airsoft Artistry Chamber, you can center the chamber perfectly. Here you can see a gap if you were to fully tighten the mag block screws first. But if you tighten the TDC base plate and mag block screws evenly, you can center the chamber within the outer barrel. Might not look like much, but I like to try and squeeze every drop of performance out of my VSR-10. The design of the artistry chamber gives that potential by eliminating unwanted directional tension of the hop-up chamber and inner barrel. So evenly tighten your TDC base and mag box screws so the chamber is centered. Once you have all of those screws tightened down, that will complete the installation of your airsoft artistry hop-up unit. Make sure the hop wheel adjusts with the tension you desire. Apply some hop and take a peek down your barrel. Verify that the hop pressure is evenly applied. If all is good, assemble the rest of your VSR-10 as normal. Now if you are still with me, let's finally jump into the shooting test. Alright Ben, you care that you're in the video? I don't care. Cool. Oh my nipples. <laughs> the fucking wood. Yeah. Don't hope he's a more pollinator. Yeah. And yeah, make, and make t nice tennis balls. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> see, it's fun. Yo, my dog, my uh, Great Dane, she fucking, uh, bro, she sticks her heads in the bush and she tries to eat them. One time, I remember she came up to us, and you just hear bzzz in her mouth. <laughs> well, with bumblebees, they don't they don't have a stinger. They bite you. They yeah, really yeah, bite yeah. you. I thought that's what carpenter bees do. They do bees. that too. Yeah. Like, if you Carpenters look up, don't sting though either, right? If you look up in some, like, I can see them right I, here. I saw them in the hole there. Yeah. <clears throat> we used to go around, and we'd see them go up, take cold tube. In case and forever. Yep. But yeah, I see all the paper wasps. I sprayed there. That one up there was still full. With when I sprayed that, all you saw you saw see a wasp drop, and then nothing come up. Just bloop, bloop. I fucking hate bugs. Kill them all. I think that's probably the least favorite thing I liked last summer. It's bug bites. That's how uh, like down where the mud pit is. Mm -hmm. I threw a. Their mosquito bait, like, mm -hmm. so they can survive. My dad's trying something new at his house. He's putting out, put out like two buckets of still water, but he puts this chemical on them. Makes them sterile. Yeah, yeah. So they breed in there, and then you know the offspring are dead. You know what I mean? Another, it, it takes so it takes like a definition, but like a life cycle. The when I was in scouts, the one thing I learned, like when we were at camp, you always had to clean. I was like, "Is it the one directly behind it?" Yeah, directly behind the bear is seventy-three yards. I like sixty-nine better for all you virgins out there, fellow virgins. I bet, uh, I bet a lot of shit gets stuck in his coat. That curly hair. Well, there's these little, like, I don't know, they're not jiggers, but they're little balls. Yeah. That he has them all through his paws and stuff. Oh, and, hey, Nate. Yeah. You know how we were looking at that tractor and it was glowing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a light on inside. That's what we saw. I was going to say, because hours later, yeah, it, it was still... Been...
For this portion of the shooting test, we moved back and tried to hit Mr. Teddy Bear from over 90 yards away. That's pretty far for an airsoft gun. With all of the outdoor variables, it took me quite a few shots and I almost gave up. Adam had better luck. 92 yards. All right, I'm gonna take like five more and then I quit. Yeah, we're gonna move up. Oh. Oh, uh, you were right over top of it. Oh, uh, right over top. God damn. Right. You were right over top. Jesus Christ. Oh, thank God. All right, I'm fucking done. Oh, that was close. That was real close. I can't tell if it's left or right, because I can't see which side of the bear it goes on. I think that one was right. It seems like they're all going right. Try can a little bit more. It's definitely close. Uh, yeah, that one swung right. Yeah, that's like the third time I kicked that over. Oh, we got strong breeze. No wind down here. That was a little high. Damn it. Dude, that, I thought I had it. Right, that was fucking perfect. Yeah, I, I thought I was going to get it there. Yeah, it looked like it almost hit the, the wood. I don't know. Yeah. Oh yeah. That was fucking center mass. Nice. Right okay. in the chest. Alright, let's see if we can go for two for two. Yep. Got it. Yeah. Alright. I'm gonna damn. I'm gonna stop while I got the street. <laughs> I was always uh I'd always it's... talk shit on you about how you're such a shitty shot. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two for two. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know how to use sights, Nate. Oh, and the scope camera was off. Oh. No, I'm joking, it was on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> the shooting test went well, given the outdoor conditions. I'm happy with the performance. I do want to try out a modify X-Range bucking in the future. It may fit my edgy barrel window better than the Maple Leaf. Any future changes will result in another video such as a gameplay. There are a few other details that I wanted to point out before we wrap this up. I don't know if you noticed in my picture earlier, but the artistry chamber only has one BB stopper, whereas the action army chamber has two. It's a bit more simplified and does come apart shall you ever need to replace components. I always thought these were to prevent BBs from misfeeding back into the outer barrel, but they act as a centering device for each BB before it's fully chambered with the cylinder nozzle. Another thing that I notice is the choice of hardware. Every other chamber that I mess with uses fine thread metric screws. The airsoft artistry chamber appears to use standard screws with beefier threads. It's a small but appreciated upgrade. I am probably forgetting a few things, but at this point, I hope I covered everything you need to know about this new VSR-10 hop-up chamber. Thank you again Airsoft Artistry for sending me a couple of these hop-up units so I could make this video. In my opinion, these are definitely a bit of a game changer, so keep up the excellent work. To anyone who is interested in an artistry chamber, you can find all of his info in the description. During the course of this video being made, he has already started designing another version of this chamber to make it even better. Be sure to follow myself and Airsoft Artistry on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching everyone, I will see you next time.